Hi everyone, welcome back to Parasha Popsicles. This week our Torah portion comes from Parashat Korach. And it is a really dramatic and interesting Torah portion. So we have a popsicle recipe to go right along with that. Not necessarily an easy one, but hopefully a rewarding one. So this week our Torah portion helps us to think about leadership. Who makes a good leader? What kind of leader can I be? So here's the story that comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 16. Korach, who is one of the Levite leaders, rises up against Moses with 250 other Israelites. And he comes before Moses and he shouts, who do you think you are, Moses? Why do you get to be the leader? Moses, when he hears this, doesn't shout back. You know what he does? He humbles himself. He lowers himself, puts his face to the ground, and humbly says, God will show us which one of us is to be the chosen leader to carry out God's holy purpose. So Moses puts before Korach a test and asks Korach and his people to bring an offering before God. And Moses will do the same and to see what God does in response. Well, God, when he receives these offerings from Moses and this other group of people who rise up in this rebellion, opens up the earth and swallows Korach and his people. And that actually is the end of Korach's story. Whoa, wow. Did you ever think that the Torah would be so dramatic in this way? So what does this have to teach us? It does not teach us that speaking up is a bad thing. It's not bad that Korach questioned Moses' leadership. The problem is that Korach is selfish in his leadership. He believes perhaps that power is a prize to be won. But no, Moses comes to teach us that a leader is to be selfless. A leader has to lead for the sake of the community. A leader has to lead with holy purpose. A leader has to keep the good of the community in mind so that the leader can help the community attain a higher purpose. So today, God is not going to open up the earth and swallow leaders that don't quite fit the bill. But rather, we have to remember when we step up as leaders to lead with good intentions. Or we might be swallowed up by greed or by power or by intentions that are not so good. So let us remember this message of Korach as we lead with humility and with sacred purpose. And I know that our leadership will make a difference in this world that truly needs us. There's a lot of work to be done. So let's get to work. So this week we are going to make a popsicle that reminds us of this story. And I thought it is finally time to add some chocolate to our recipe. I've actually been receiving some requests for a chocolate popsicle. So today we are going to make chocolate fudgesicle mudslide popsicles to remind us of that earth opening up. So you can see I've had a helper that's been busy Oren is back to help again. And what have you been doing, Oren? What's been your job? See, I'm making chocolate today because look it. He's taking the chocolate and he's breaking it up into small pieces because we started with six ounces of a chocolate bar. I used Ghirardelli chocolate because that's my favorite. And we want to make sure it has at least 60%. So Oren is breaking up the chocolate that we are going to pour in to the blender. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't tell anybody we did that, okay? Okay, let's put the chocolate in the blender. 
So after all the chocolate is in the blender, we actually have to move to the stove this week. So I am going to turn us around where I have a small saucepan here on the stove that I'm going to turn up to medium high heat. And I am going to add two cups of whole milk and a half a cup of cream. The richer the milk, the richer your flight bars will be. Also going to add a quarter cup of sugar and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. And we are going to bring this to a boil, but as soon as it reaches a boil, we're gonna take it off the stove. So I'm going to continue to stir as it comes to a very soft boil. Almost looks like hot chocolate. Just slight bubbles, we're gonna take it off the heat. So we have our milk and cocoa mixture and we're going to pour it very carefully into the blender right on top of the chocolate and give it a moment to melt. So Oren, I'm gonna ask for you to step down and get out of the way if you have any helpers. We wanna be extra careful. We're gonna let it sit for a moment and then we are going to blend. So we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt and a few teaspoons of vanilla. And then we are going to blend until the milk emulsifies. We're gonna put the lid on the blender and as always, make sure it is secure. Our mixture is nice and smooth and very chocolatey. So we're gonna do some one more special thing before we pour the popsicles into the mold. I have some Hershey syrup here. And we are going to drip some Hershey syrup in the outside of the mold so that we get a little bit of a swirl. When it freezes, it'll make it look more like our mudslide. So Orin, you wanna help me squeeze some Hershey syrup? Yes! Let's do it over the sink just in case it gets a little drippy. You can see I just drizzled the molds with chocolate. Oh man, this is gonna be something else. So our last step is to pour our chocolate mix. Now we're going to have to let it yes. sit a little while because it's going to be hot. But see, I'm releasing the steam, be careful. Pour right into the mold. Oh my gosh, it is just dripping chocolate. And then are we gonna put these in? Now the last step is for Oren to place the tops on after he's licked them all, of course. Go ahead, nice and gentle, they're still hot. Lay them nice on top. Did it! Yes! So there we have our Korach Fudgicle Mudslide Popsicles. And they are going to be amazing. I hope that you will think about the way in which you want to lead in this very important time. Shabbat Shalom. Oh.